So I apologize. Um, Ash is still really new to being handled. Is still, you know, a baby, um, and really likes to explore and really likes to go places. Um, so I won't always be getting the best angle because of that. But these little baby corn snakes, um, if you don't watch them 24/7 or wherever they are, <laughs> they're gone um, because they just love to go places and. Um, you can be preoccupied for just, you know, 15, 20 seconds and you've already dropped them. Um, so you really have to always be aware of where they are. Um, and it, it's, it's easy to do. Um, you know, I, I actually got distracted with my, my phone a minute ago and accident, <laughs> accidentally locked, lost track of where Ash was. And before you knew it, Ash was on the ground. A lot more hyper than, than the adults and um, you know then they're they're also new to this and so you know you you at some level they're not totally relaxed um, because they don't know what to expect because um, you know the giant giant human and that and just how small they are you know they're they're like the size of a a pencil and they're like you know well, about about a foot long, but they're the width of a pencil, and you're you're giant. Um, these are some of the smaller snakes. I'm uh, not as small as like a sand boa or something, but you know they are tiny and they're very fragile, and you have to be real gingerly with them. I only had ash for a few weeks, and you know this is typical corn snake behavior. Just very, um, you know, just kind of takes everything. With a grain of salt, if if she does get a little too um, a little a little too freaked out about something, it seems like you know she she just lives in the moment. You know, if she just if she flinches or gets scared, you know, five ten seconds later, she's back to just doing what she was doing before. Ash is an anthristic um, corn snake, and so uh, she she was born in captivity. Um, like most, most corn snakes that you buy nowadays, they're all bred in captivity. Um, um, the, the main difference between, uh, an anthristic and just your regular old corn snake is that your regular old corn snake will have a lot more browns and reddish hues, uh, in them. And she's got a little bit of brown, but it's not like, uh, I have a little tiny bit of like grayish brownish. And some of them will, will have that, and others will be like solid gray uh, and white, or solid black and gray. Um, so it just kind of depends. And for for the price on these guys, just an average anthristic like she is, I mean, they're a beautiful, stunning snake. And they're one of the cheapest corn snakes <laughs> that you can find. I mean, you can't find much cheaper than that. So it's actually really cool. I think uh, morph that they that they have is just I guess not very difficult to breed maybe because a corn snake is one of the I guess accepting snakes as far as handling goes you know just because they tend to be that way doesn't mean that you can just you know take them out all day and handle them and that's going to stress them out I still say you know don't handle them every day handle them like with a, a day or two at least break in between um you know if not uh, you know, I, I say two three times a week is all you really need to and about it, that the duration is about i'd say um 15 to 20 minutes max and then that you know you'll 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 find them getting more bored you'll find them you know starting to want to really explore places more um, towards the end of that, usually 15, 20 minutes. Um, but yeah, uh, we got her from Snakes at Sunset, and we actually did an unboxing video, and <laughs> the day that I got her, she was about the same as this. I mean, it was amazing how chill she, how chill she was, um, and, and every once in a while you do see a little fidgeting, but I mean, that's, that's normal for these babies. So, um, actually I'm a big fan of the anthristic and the, even like those, um, 
solid black mutations. I don't know if they have one in, in corn snakes, but they have a rare uh, solid black in a ball python. And then they have those um, exanthics that are kind of the equivalent of um, anathristic uh, sort of where they're, you know, gray, black, white, and that's really the only colors that they possess. Um, I don't know why, but I've just been really, really fascinated about that. Something, something about that just seems really pretty to me. Other people go for the, you know, um, those really, really bright colored ones or the all white ones. And I just, I don't know, something about this just makes, to me, um, makes it more uh, interesting and unique and beautiful. Although all all animals are beautiful, you know, um, there, there's really not a to me there's there's not one that isn't. Um, but it's just something about that that I wish people would like do more of. She is starting to, you can tell she's starting to kind of get a little bit, you know, bored of me. So we'll put her back and you'll see more of her in other videos. I'm sure. She loves the camera. She always likes to invest almost every time she investigates that camera. I wonder if she, like, sees herself in it and thinks she's another snake. There's, there's, thinks, thinks there's another snake on the other end. Or if she just likes the, the glow of the camera. <laughs> uh, she did that. She did that when I first took her out of the box when I got her. There's so, something, some fascination that she... That's, that's the cool thing, too. They all have their little quirks and personalities. They really are individuals. Um, it's amazing how they all have their own little personality. Anyway, that's it for this video, and we'll keep you updated uh, in the future about Ash and Ember.